everyone, this is Life Center Network. Your gateway to possibilities and it is encounters with the power seed. Our topic for today says sent to be a help. Sent to be a help. Our key text is taken from Exodus chapter 17, verse 12 and 13. And it says, But Moses' hands were heavy, and they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat thereon. And Aaron and her stirred up his hands, the one on the the one on the one side, and the other on the other side, and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. And Joshua discomfited Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. The background and thoughts on the text. Some of the la some of the battles of life comes uninvited. The man in the battlefield does not determine the outcome of the battle. His spiritual covering does. A wise Christian understands that while he fights and wins the battle of life and is celebrated, his efforts are necessarily all there is. Many times there is a hand like Moses's lifted in the mountain and praying that you succeed. There is a hand over everybody's life. Most likely the hands of our parents be it spiritual or biological. Only a foolish child grows to despise the hands of the people who raised him. A child who brings honor ensures his parents have the necessary support the need while their hands are being lifted over him. Again, because our parents are men, they are human beings, they will, be, they will grow and become weary. The same way Moses' hands began to go down and needed support after a long period of him lifting them. The hands of our parents will tend to grow weary along the line. This is where your ministry of help as a child is important. Aaron and her could have turned to stand in Moses' steed, but they understood that Moses was the captain and all they could do was support. Know when it is for you just to support and know when it is time for you to step in. The captain is accountable for the home or for the ship. In a home, there is only one head who is usually the father of the home. He is responsible for the home. In the church, there is only one head and he is the pastor. And he is also the spiritual authority. He is responsible for the church. Notice how Aaron, who was the high priest, and Ur lifted Moses' hands on both sides when his hands got weak. Application of the text to our lives. How good and pleasant it is when everyone knows their place and performs their roles effectively. Her was known to be of the tribe of Judah and related to Bazalel, who was a craftsman. It could be deduced that her was rich and influential. Aaron, on the other hand, was a priest. These two men, as Moses' partner, lifted his hands while he interceded for Israel who were on the battlefield. The personalities of Moses, her and Aaron could be interpreted as the prophet or pastor and the financial and praying partners respectively. The church needs partners. Partners who would support and uplift the shepherds in prayers and financial stewardship. The first century church thrived because they had this. We would do better if we had such partners in the church today. Rather than pay attention to things that do not matter, why not pay attention to your assignment as a helper? Be the helper that you are sent to be and uphold the hand of the person who lifts his hand over you. I would like you to lift up your right hand as we say this prayer. Say, Father, 
I receive the grace to be a helper to the ministry of my man of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Action point. How can you support your pastor financially and in prayers? Write them down and start doing them today. Do not defer them for tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Start doing them today. It has been Encounters with the Power Seed and I am Ekemini Mildred Ukre. Thanks for tuning in today and keep watching Life Center Network.